Hello. <laughs> I didn't know it started. <laughs> I just figured out how my my um, remote could work again. Anyway, so welcome to another knitting vlog. I'm filming this intro outside in the cold because the kids keep yelling. So I figured this week I'd do like a um, a weekly knitting vlog with some life sprinkled in. Mostly knitting, but a little life sprinkled in. So. Um, I'm gonna make dinner tonight and I figured we'll pick up where we left off on our um, Demon Slayer inspired outfit um, I haven't been putting a lot on TikTok because you know TikTok is fast paced but vlogs you know you can you know do what you can so in this vlog you're probably gonna see me try out some different techniques um, for my patchwork pullover and we will go through the ups and downs of the dress. So, did that guy just land in my, he sure did land in my microphone, hello? Um, so, uh, we are on the decreases for the dress. We're gonna see how many decreases we actually do. And we are on the back panel of the sweater. Um, but hopefully we can get a lot done this week. So, come along with me and we'll see what we get into this vlog. Okay, um, I finished sewing the panel together and now that the panel is sewed on together I'm going to now attempt to pick up the stitches underneath and try to see if I can knit a square like that so let's give that a try okay so right now I am editing my podcast that I just filmed today and then while I'm doing that I'm working on the sweater I got this new bag. I'm obsessed with it. I can't talk about it enough. And I'm having a little snack. So we'll see how I get on with this editing, honey. Okay, so I got most of my chicken thawed out for dinner. Uh, we're doing this whole chicken on a stick thing that I saw on uh, Instagram, so good. Uh, um, so I got it mostly thawed out. It's still a little frozen, but it's, it's a lot easier to cut chicken frozen anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut up and then I will start cooking. Um, and then check back in with you either one after dinner's done or two after I, um, after I finish that square and I can give you my thoughts on that process and how that's going.
chicken came out beautiful and the boys loved it. But we all know what it means when the eggs are boiling. So let's make some ramen. All right, y'all, so kids are in bed and all that stuff, and I've eaten. So, here is my finished square on here. So, I measured it, and I measured it alongside this one, and they come out the same. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna bind off then when I bind off, I'm gonna figure out how to pick up for the next one and go like that. Um, but I'm gonna bind off every time and then each row pick up. And we'll see if I get anything different or the same. Although I feel like they kind of look different, but I've measured them both like three times and they're the same. And I even put them next to the panels in this one. And some of them look kind of long too, so maybe once I bind off, I'll feel a little bit better about it. But yeah, so I might, I'm gonna do this row with the pickup method and we'll see what happens. So. Hi guys, so it is the next day. Um, I went to sleep on it and I decided I'm going to rip this out because this is not cute. I don't like that at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, rip it out. And then after I rip it out, I'm just gonna knit straight down and then leave a long tail on this side and then just match or stitch them together. So let's frog this. <laughs> Wow, it's like you're like in my face, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, oh, that's a little better. Okay, so I just finished the last square. So here we are. So what I'm gonna do is sew these up and I'm going to count this because I just feel like they look like way bigger. Um, so I'm gonna count this as what I like to call my sister stripe in my projects. Um, because me and my sister, uh, she knits sometimes and she has a looser gauge than I do. I knit really tight. Um, so this looks a little looser than what they usually look like. So this is going to be my sister stripe across the back. And then from here on out, I'm just going to um, 
I'm just gonna knit the squares and then sew them on. So I have eight more squares to make. Yeah, four. Yeah, I have eight more squares to make. I'm going to do my best to try to get those done today and see if I can get them done today and then maybe leave tomorrow for sewing um, or maybe sew as I go along. Um, I'm watching the um, Needles at the Ready podcast. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to sewing and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like, if we see a difference, and um, then we'll go on from there. Y'all. <laughs> so many events happened. So we went to visit my great-grandmother, who is my children's great-great-grandmother, and she got to meet the newest great-great-grandchild. Beautiful, sweet, nah. Then I get home doing the whole housewife, mommy thing, cooking, da 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 da. The freaking meat was frozen. So of course I'm trying to be inventive to try to get this meat thawed out as quickly as possible. Um, definitely wasn't as quick as possible, but I got it thawed out, boom, boom. Tell me why, because I'm, I'm just so discombobulated. Why the H-E double hockey sticks did I pour that crap down the drain? I've accidentally done it once or twice, so I'm not worrying about it. Then my husband gets up. This is where I think my husband, my husband, my mom, like people that are like highly intelligent, y'all are witches, and that's the answer. So why, why would, why would he say out of his mouth, oh, you know that messes up the sink, that'll clog the sink, because words are power. Why did I go in there and my sink was clogged? And he had to go to work, so I had to unclog it myself. I had to get a wire hanger and stab it and get all the water, like. <laughs> yeah, that's the Alexa for the Drano, but I wanted to show you this before. I wanted to show you this before I close down my day, right? I finished sewing it up, but I so I spoke with my husband about it and I um, compared it to the front. It looks the same. So since it looks the same, I'm going to continue that way and just picking up the stitches and knitting it like that. Like they look the same size and everything. So I'm going to continue that. And what I'm also going to do is have a drink and probably wind down. I'm probably camping on the couch because my son had a nightmare and uh, he's in my bed and he's not the lightest of sleepers. So I am on the couch tonight. That's fine. As long as he's asleep and happy, I don't mind it. So let me go tend to that alarm and I'll probably see you guys the next day. All right, good morning guys. It is Thursday, the next day. Um, so uh, today I have my last rounds of dance class um, at Red Mountain Theater. I take a tap and musical theater. So um, today is the last rounds of that. So I'm gonna get ready, things like that. I'm really hoping that maybe I can get some footage. If I can't get any footage, then um, you know, just take you, you know, in the car or something. We'll see what happens. Um, this morning, it's about eight o'clock. I just got back from dropping Aiden off at school. Ethan just woke up. But this is kind of our Friday because um, Aiden has a doctor's appointment, so his spring break is starting tomorrow. So, um, I'm kind of letting Robert do whatever he wants. I'm gonna do whatever I want. So I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and uh, start knitting. Sorry if this one's like boring because I'm only focusing on one project. Um, when it gets down to the wire and I really want to finish things like ASAP No Rocky, I do become monogamous um, and only work on one project. So this week I'm solely focusing on my patchwork um, pullover and then next week I'll be chugging through the dress um so yeah so this week this vlog you may just see the patchwork 
um, pullover. But I'm making such great progress on it that like I'm kind of like really excited to work on it. So there's that. And then my sister was looking up like the movie or whatever and I don't think the movie is playing in Birmingham and I'm gonna recheck because that's so annoying. Um, and I don't know how far I'm willing to drive. So we'll have to figure that one out. It's giving a day trip and it's like, ugh. So let's make a cup of coffee and then let's, um, let's get some knitting done. Hi guys, it's me again. I think it's the next day or like a day or two later or something like that. So I've been uh, helping my sister with her baby and stuff like that. So um, not too much knitting has gone on, but I finished the last block of row three. And now I just have one more row of squares before I'm finished with the back panel and we can sew up. So I think I'm going to do my darndest to stay up all night and finish it what i also want to do is this is going from a knitting vlog to kind of like a let's knit together because i'm like i don't want to keep dragging on the same projects so we're going to attempt to finish these two projects in this one video um might be a b to edit but anything for you guys <laughs> so um i started the decreases on my waist and at some point i will try that on for you I'll probably work on that tomorrow because Aiden has a birthday party tomorrow. So we'll be traveling, at least have an hour of traveling, 30 minutes there and back. So I'll probably work on the dress while we drive, um, aka while I get in my husband's truck, period. <laughs> um, so tonight, our goal is to finish the last four squares and sew together the shoulders so come along with me to do that I am in my robe so I'm gonna try to take a shower really wind down and um, yeah I have a place on the couch and that is where I will be and then maybe take naps in between you never know I'm getting a little older it's a little hard to stay up so yeah let come along let's see what we get into
Okay, so it is the next day. I am dressed. I put my wig on with my sister's supervision, but I did most of it on my own. Um, kind of didn't like the top, so you always put a hat on to kind of make it better, but it goes with my outfit. It's got a little Dolly Parton on my shirt, little fanny pack. So the boys and daddy went to go get a haircut. Um, since then, I've been getting ready. I'm done getting ready making my husband some cookies per his request. So now I'm going to start sewing up my sweater and just wait for them to get there and then we will head to the party. So I have finished my little ribbing on my collar. Here it is. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of room here. I was really nervous that it wouldn't fit over my head, so I did a stretchy bind off. So I'm in between ripping out the bind off and just binding off just in pattern um, or something, or maybe I'll fold it over and just have a little collar and like fold it over and sew it on but I'm going to leave it for right now because I'm a little sleepy I'm gonna leave it right now and sit on it kind of rest if you will but I want to show you the whole thing let's see if I can sit you down here So ghetto, but that's why I like my vlog style. I'm sure I don't hurt myself. But here it is. Okay, so now we 
got sleeves to do and the side panels. But part of me feels like right. Part of me feels like this is so boxy. sleeves on and see how I feel but it's body's done so let's keep on going hey y'all we're back don't know what day this is I'm not even keeping up anymore so I'm gonna start the sleeves tonight um, it is the 27th so we have about four days um, I feel like I can get it done. Um, body's done, boom. You know, and all that stuff, so. Um, I'm gonna start the sleeves now. I'm gonna figure out, like, my calculations to get the right measurements and stuff, so. Yeah, let's start a sleeve. Hello beautiful people. I was gonna give up on this video because life has been lifing so hard, but um, this may be the only video that I'm able to actually edit and get up and stuff, so I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm gonna show you the progress on the bigger part of the uh, project when I get back home, but for now, I'm just going to show you that I am on this side the first side panel and this is how much I have so far so I'm gonna put a progress keeper right here to see how far we get we're taking the kids to see the new Mario movie so we're gonna see how far I get and um, yeah so come along for that Okay, y'all, so we are back home. So this is how far I got in the movie. And that's in between taking my niece potty because she's potty training and everything like that. I knit on the car ride there and some on the ride home. So that's not bad. And my progress keeper is by Ooh Baby Beads if I haven't put that on the screen yet. So I'm just going to keep on going, see how far I can get today. Um, at this point, there's no pressure. I would love to finish this before the double digits. Today's Wednesday, maybe this week would be great. Um, I'm just ready to be done. I'm ready to wear it. Um, I believe I missed the movie. I don't think the movie's playing in theaters anymore. So now this is just going to be 
a while I watch the new season sweater because the new season is coming out really soon. So I think it's set in like some days. Like I think it's like next week it comes out. So I'm sad I missed the movie, but I am happy that I will have something to knit on or to wear while I knit and watch it while I um, watch the show. So let's do a little bit more knitting and then maybe after this clip I will put these on these clips onto the computer and um, get it saved so I can uh, start some type of editing. I know it's a lot. Okay, y'all, so boom, it's been some days. Um, so I wanna show you where we are. So, I finished the side panel, measured what I need, da 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 Now I am working on, and the way I measured what I needed, um, cause the pattern called for a different amount. Well, I knit to the amount and it just looked too short. So what I did was I started sewing it on as I was knitting it. And I'd get to a point and measure like, okay, I think it'll, it'll be all right um, at this point. And then when I got closer and closer to where I was knitting, I was like, okay, it's good right here. Then I bounced off. <laughs> I want to say my length was 36 and a half, which is definitely longer than what she calls for. So I have one part of it sewn on so I'm working on the other side so all I have left is another panel and sewing it up the sides I filmed a goals video for April because uh, it is now April 8th <laughs> um, I filmed the goals video and um, I've come to the conclusion that I don't want to add any ribbing I love the way, I love the way that it fits. I wonder if I can show you guys too. So, hold on, because I gotta find. I don't So I don't pull out my little darning needle and stuff. It's way back here, honey. There we go. All right, and then put my arm through here. Okay. So I'm like, it's really not, maybe because the yarn is so heavy. It's really not rolling. And part of me doesn't mind that. And I'm really enjoying the casual look of it. Um. And it's already like really long. <laughs> and I'm loving the casual look of it. So um, yeah, I think I'm not going to add any ribbing. I'm not gonna add any ribbing and then this ribbing bring back. Hi, how you doing? Mm -hmm. And then this ribbing that I did for this collar, I'm gonna rip it out. I'm gonna rip it out and then I'm going to pick up less stitches to kind of bring it in some more and just do the ribbing up here. But everything else, I'm not gonna do any ribbing. I'm loving the way it looks. And um, as you can see, it kind of looks like a dress. <laughs> and you know, I'm excited. I missed the movie and it's fine. I think I said that in one of these clips. Um, I remember 
don't remember, but I, I think I did. Um, I said that in one of these clips that I missed the movie, but the new season is out, I believe. I'm 97% confident that the new season's already out. And I'm just going to wear this while I watch it, which is more fun than just wearing it to a movie premiere or anything like that. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna have a little dinner, maybe a little cocktail, because life is just, it's slapping me on. It's slapping me in the face so hard. <laughs> um, so I'm probably gonna eat and edit and then try to weave this in. If I do get it done by tonight, I'll put a clip and show you what it looks like, let you know if I'm in love or not. Um, but if not, I will see you tomorrow because I will be working on this. I'm, I want to get this done. I do not want to allow this project to go into the double digits. So I literally have like tonight and then all of tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow's freaking Easter. And I have like helping my sister cook and the Easter egg hunt, and I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <sighs> yeah. So let's eat, feel our bellies, edit, and then get back to.
Okay. <laughs> it is the next day. We are outside. Um, I just measured my side panel. So for me personally, I have about two more inches and then we can start sewing. Um, we watched the first episode of season three yesterday and it's it's honestly bananas like i don't know i don't know where it's gonna go and i'm pretty lit about it so i'm definitely i'm definitely ready to finish um i also feel like uh while i said i wouldn't do this again i feel like i need a since i made a tanjiro one i feel like i need a nezuko one and I don't know the little baby's name, but the one that be sleeping and likes all the ladies a lot. I'll probably put his name on the screen if I look it up. I feel like I need one for him. And I just, I don't know. This, this anime and animes in general have been sitting well with me because I'm so proud of myself for like actually getting through them and catching up with them. So their anime in general is like in the same playing field as like Outlander for me. Like I'm just, it's so lit that I'm actually getting through it. So, me and Ethan are going to sit outside and play, and uh, he's gonna do his thing, and I'm just gonna sit and knit, probably until it's time to go get his brother from school, so. Yeah. Okay, as you saw in the last clip, I've finished the side panel. Let's go, period. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I'll probably have to rip out now, and then when I come back from getting my son from school, kind of start it. Um, I'm going to rip out this uh, collar here, because I don't like the way it's flimsy like that. I'm gonna rip it out, and then I'm going to re-pick up less stitches around, and then uh, redo it. And then after that, I'm gonna sew the side seam on, I want, when I'm done with the side seam, to be ready to wear it. So I'm making sure that all ends are woven in. I've cut off anything I want to cut off and everything like that. So that way, as soon as I'm done, we, we're done, period. So let's rip out this collar together.
So it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm sleepy. <laughs> um, so on the body, I got through the first two squares. They're on. They're on. So I'm going to go lay down now. Um, because all the knitting for this is done. All I have to do is sew up. So I'm going to go rest. And then when I have to wake my son up for school, I'll be up really early. So, this is how far we got. And we still have all this to go. It is so draining, bro. But I'm excited. So, I'm gonna go lay down and come back to you tomorrow with a finish, a finished sweater. And we will style it together and we will end this video. You can bet your bottom dollar we're gonna finish this video. So, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow.